day three of the whole 30 day cold calling challenge. Let's get it. So the difference I'm gonna make today is I'm ditching the script from yesterday. That long spiel, because I was watching a uh, flip with Rick cold call and he wasn't doing any of that. He was only doing, he was like, there's no point in all that because they're, if they're gonna sell, just get straight to the point. If they, if you have to try and convince them to sell, they're not gonna sell. So what he does is just, he says, just pick up the phone, say, hey, is this the owner of 123 Main Street? And then if they say yes, say, are you interested in selling? And then go from there. And if they say no, just hang up the phone. So that's what we're going to do today. All right, let's jump into it. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Starting off very strong. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Hey, is this the owner of... No, did I leave a message for the person? Um, yeah. Could you just ask them if they're interested in selling? Oh, in regards to selling, oh, no, no. They, uh, they left that information for me. No, they said nobody is buying anything and no one's selling anything. Um, all right. All right, look at You're welcome. Have a good day. It's a little strange.
Please leave your message for nine. think on the weekends more people would answer the phone hello hi you've reached Christy at 954 if you'd like to leave me a message go ahead and do so and I'll get back to you as soon as I can have a great day bye Hey, this is Matthew. I just was wondering if you were interested in selling your property at five. Have a good day. Thank you. The number you have reached is not in service. This is a recording. Good night. Your call has been forwarded. Your message for starting out slowly the last time. What? I don't understand.
Oh, no. Please answer the phone. That's not the phone number. Seven seven. The subscriber you have. Oh, my heart. Right, so. Hey, is this the owner of 14? No, it's not. No? Oh, all right. Nope. Have a good day. You too. At least somebody answered their phone. What? Bro, that was a robot. <sighs> I just answered the phone.
sorry, SD card ran out of storage. But luckily, I had a backup. <clears throat> do do do. We're sorry. To an automatic voice messaging system. Is this the owner of 34? No. No? Bro, why were they whispering? That's a little weird. Good gracious. Your call has been forwarded.
about to fire batch leads. If it was up to me, we'd do everything together. Hi, 
you've reached Tracy, team leader of Tracy Estates, powered by KW Innovations. If you'd like to leave me a message, please do. And for a faster response, I would love a text. Thank you so much. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Tracy, this is Matthew. Would you be interested in selling to... If you are, please let me know. Thank you for calling you and me transfer. Serving South Florida since 1923. For moving and storage, press two. Wrong number. Thank you for calling JP Webbs. There is no one in the office at this time to take your call. Please leave a message and we will get back to you shortly. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Oh, no. Yeah, this is despicable. The wireless customer. God. Two, three, eight, one, three, zero. The service you're attempting to use has.
Merhaba. Please Please leave your message. Oh, answer the phones. Please. I can't get deals if they don't answer the phones. Why did it ring all the way through then to say the number is deactivated?
Hello? Yes. Hey, is this the owner of 22? I've sold the house, thank you. Oh, have a good day. Damn. The one guy that answers. Hey, is this the owner of... Who is this? This is Matthew. Who are you calling for? Uh, Christine? No, I'm sorry. Oh, alright. Have a good day. Grandpa called me. Your call has been for... Your call has been forwarded to voice. Your call has been forwarded to voice. Thank you. What? 
that. Hey, is this the owner of three? I'm not selling. Please take me off your list. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. I almost started typing the number in my computer. Mr. B. We're sorry, you have reached the number. 6,000. Oh, oh, Mr. B. 6,000, you know his name. Change the watch trust when he gets here. Uh, okay. Your call has been forwarded to vo Oh my god, oh my gosh. Your message for change your watch for you to stay. Hey, is this the owner of seventeen? Uh, this is Matthew. How are you? Matthew. Yes, sir. I'm well. Uh, where, where, where are you at, Matthew? Where am I at? Like, based out of? Yeah, Lake where are you Worth? located? Where are you located? Lake Worth. You're, you're in Lake Worth? So you're a, yeah. you're a local buyer? Yes, sir. You're calling for yourself, not for somebody else? No, sir. Well, my, my company. All right. Well, do you work for your company or do you own your company? I own my company. Okay, very good. And Matthew, I don't. Nice to meet you. What, what um, uh, uh, that house is um, um, has been held off the the market for quite a while. The uh, uh, it was um, uh, purchased from the owner. Um, with a mortgage that uh, we believe the mortgage was not uh, not enforceable, mistakes on the transfer of the mortgage, and um, and back in 2014, 15, something like that, we beat the uh, bank at auction. I mean, at the uh, uh, at the trial, and uh, and uh, they lost four hundred thousand dollar mortgage uh, on mm -hmm. that. Uh, but um, through the marvels of litigation, um, the, the thing sat for a number of years. And uh, and somebody else got their hands on it and refiled and and uh, completely against the rules the uh, the, the uh, court um, uh, foreclosed on behalf of a uh, of a new owner of the uh, of the mortgage and um, 
and the appellate court uh, did what's known as a PCA, a procurium or firm. So um, uh, I uh, uh, filed a, uh, uh, an appellate brief, uh, I'm sorry, I filed an a, a appeal and put up a, a bond, and, uh, and I've had possession of it for the last, so I don't know, uh, three years, I guess, uh, uh, since then. And um, and now they're making offers to me. They want to either give me some walk away money or, or short sell it to me. Hmm. Problem is, <clears throat> problem is, I don't know what the uh, uh, and the reason they can short sell it to me is because uh, I'm not the original uh, mortgage or so I'm not I, I'm not indebted on it at all. Yeah. Um, and the uh, original mortgage or gave up his rights uh, a long time ago. Hmm. Uh, so. Uh, so the problem with that is, is I thought I could get it for about four hundred, but they're um, uh, they're inching up on that. So I don't know what the uh, uh, I don't know what the, the the final number is, but if you're uh, experienced in dealing with short sales, are you? Uh, I can't say I am. Oh. Well, see what it needs. It needs somebody that's that's connected um, um, with the uh, uh, with that process uh, because uh, uh, it's possible for the right person to go make a short sale deal for uh, something in the four hundred range, and uh, and it's probably worth about five fifty as is right now. Yeah. So, so, so um, are, uh, and me, I'm just, I'm just looking to get whatever I can get out of it. I, I, I acquire properties through litigation, and, uh, and all I'm ever looking for is the money. I don't, uh, I don't uh, ever, uh, I never rent them out. I don't renovate. I don't rehab. I don't retail. I just, uh, I just litigate, and, uh, and then sell the properties uh, once I have clear title on them um, uh, to an investor, and leaving plenty of money on the table for them to make. So that's right. what I do. Uh, if you're a local um, uh, Lake Worth investor, I've got other properties too uh, uh, in the area: Boynton Beach, Lake Worth, uh, West Palm Beach. Uh, All right. Uh, but uh, uh, are you looking uh, to sell the other properties too? Every, everything I have is for sale. Oh, all right. Everything. No, I mean I, I, that, that's why that's why I acquire them to sell them. The only thing that ever keeps me from selling them is I've still got the uh, clear title and some of them. Yeah. And right. the process I go through, I litigate. Um, if I win the litigation, then I, my mistake on that particular property is that I didn't clear title right away. Yeah. I should have, that would have, would have been easy to do, but, but, uh, I wasn't worried about it. And, um, and, it, and, uh, it was occupied in a comfortable situation. So I, uh, uh, so I didn't do anything on it. And this came out of the blue. Hmm. Surprising. I learned that, that lesson. Um, uh, I'll always clear title immediately now. So, so, um, so if you want to do, if you're interested in making a deal and that, and that's enough money for you to, uh, uh, to live with, then, um, uh, then I, I'll, I'll get with you further on this. Uh, all right. Uh, and what about those other uh, properties? Give me, give me uh, well, we'll talk about those. Give, give, let me give you my email address. All right. Perfect. It's, uh, information about who you are oh, yeah. and, uh, and where you operate and where you operate out of. Give me enough information about wh who you are, and where you operate on your email so that I could do my due diligence. All right. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll send you the LLC name too. So, you know, we're legit and yeah, but, but, but have, it, have it in LA. LLC name makes you legit. That's like 150 bucks. No, I know, but you know, like a registered business. I actually, actually, I have an LLC that I never use. Um, uh, I operate under a, a, a fictitious name. Uh, that way, uh, that way, I can litigate on my own behalf. I'm not being an attorney if, uh, if, if it comes to it. And uh, and um, uh, secondly, is uh, I stand behind everything I do. Yeah. So, are any of the properties listed on the market, or are they all off the market? No, no, I don't listen to anything. All right. I, I, my, my, my life partner is a real estate agent, and 
when if we do if we do real estate transactions, we often will run it through her, um, uh, so that uh, if somebody's going to end up with a commission, it will be her. But but uh, but I don't I don't list anything. I don't I don't retail the properties. I don't show them. I don't do it. I, I don't I don't. I don't uh, renovate or or uh, set them up for um, uh, for <clears throat> presentation. Uh, I deal strictly with investors. All right, that's perfect. So, would would text be easier or email to email go back? All right. Yeah, I'm old. I'm old school. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess old school uh, email is old school now. Yeah. I'm old enough. It it, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the younger side, so. Yeah. Um. So All right, let me ask you this: what, 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 um, uh, what valuation range are you comfortable? In other words, um, uh, can you deal with multi, uh, uh, multi-million properties, multi-million dollar properties? Um, you got, you got I haven't. That? I haven't yet, but if I okay, I think it'd be possible. I feel like I could get yeah. it done. Yeah, but you got to go somewhere and get it, and then and that, yeah, that, yeah. That's, that's not good. Yeah, I I like to deal with one person. I don't like to I don't like to to uh, uh, it, it, in fact that's one of the reasons I've gotten so skittish about giving out information because typically what happens is uh, um, in the past is uh, I go to do a deal. By the time you get to the closing table, they're scrambling for a short month uh, for a hard money lender. Yeah, and, um, and I just they just don't have the cash, and they end, they're just trying to sell contracts. Yeah, and. Uh, and it just it just a mess. So yeah. So I just I, I try to deal with one person who who's uh, can stand behind their deals. Yeah. So yeah, I try to stay under five hundred thousand. But. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this this is a um, uh, uh, that particular one is a, um, a three bedroom with a. Another bedroom that doesn't have a closet. It's a, it's it's a, like a office den type type thing. Yeah. Uh, with a with a French door, and um uh and it's a gigantic uh, uh uh living room combination. It's like a big T. You know, it's mm-hmm. like forty feet in one direction. And it, it, the top of the T is forty feet long, mm-hmm. and the um, uh, the the, the uh, vertical part of the T is like thirty thirty two feet, I think, and uh, um. It, it's um, uh, it's vaulted ceiling. There's uh, 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 rafters instead of trusses, hmm. and uh, that was all done originally. It's not the, it's not one of those handyman parts where they cut out the bottom of the trusses. Um, and um, uh, it, it's um, it, it has got the uh, two car garage it, that that faces uh, uh, that L's off the uh, uh, off the uh, building so that. Uh, so that you're not looking at the front of the garage, uh, at the front of the house, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, it's um, it's one of the nicer layouts in that neighborhood. It's, it's a nice neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, they build up that area right behind us, which which pumped up the prices, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, originally, uh, originally when I acquired that property, uh, it was going for 190 thousand. Mm-hmm. But that's that's been uh, that was back in 2000. Eight, I think. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm going to shoot you over my information and see if we can get a deal done. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. You too. <sighs> Round of applause. Round of applause, people. Wow. That is what we're calling for. <sighs> Damn. Mm. Shoot. Um.
Um, great, 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 great. They're great. All right, all right. You've reached Carl. Please leave a message and your phone number. Thank you. Hey, Carl. I'm calling about a property. I believe you own it. If you're interested in selling that property, please let me know. <clears throat> I kind of want to just go after that one. <sighs> Shoot, should I? I feel like I'm wasting time. Just like that guy's ready to sell. Looking at the property right now. Yo, this is a smoking deal. I just ran the comps and the numbers. If this guy wants four hundred thousand. The comps are like seven fifty. Oh my god. Um, so I'm going to call my partner now and see what he says. So I just sent that guy a message, an email about the property, confirming the price because I'm pretty sure he said his price. And he said he had other properties, so I emailed him asking about if that price was correct and about the other properties. Yeah. Uh huh. Alright. So 
seven, eight, six, three, Your call has been forwarded. Hey, is this the owner of six? Not for sale. All right, sale. have a good day. Oh, major home. Your call has been forwarded to Hey Jacqueline, this is Matthew. I'm calling about your property at Please call me back if you'd like to sell. Have a good day.
Thank you for calling Publix, located at Venetian Isles Shopping Center. I don't need Publix. Hey, is this the owner of 10? Um, yeah, this one, the owners, what happened? What's going on? Uh, hi, I was just wondering if you'd be open to selling that property. Um, I possibly could be open to selling. Alright, um, what, would you like to set up a day to, for, to come have the property looked at? Um, or is this a company or is this a sole buyer? A uh, company. Oh, um, I can give you a number to the person that represents me then. Uh, all right. That represents the property. All right. Is this a property um, uh, let me, you ready manager? Right is this a property manager? No, I'm the owner, but um, this is the uh, realtor. One of my, well, it's my realtor. Oh, all right. Is it listed on the market? No. Oh. All right. Okay. Do you want? Do you want it? I know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um. Let me give it to you. 
Uh, let me find it. Oh. Um, five, six, one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one sec. I'm sorry. Hold up. Do you get? Five, six, one. Um, five. All right. Is there any major problems with the property, or? No, it's just that we just we just mistaken. We never lived in it. We just bought it a while back and just never lived in it. Hmm. Did you? Can I? Do like a little sprucing up to it, like like you know, like probably pain and stuff like that. But as far as like major problems, it shouldn't be done. Yeah. How? When did you buy it? Uh, two thousand. Tell me, my brother. Twenty or two thousand nineteen. Hmm. Do you mind if I ask how much you bought it for? Uh. Yeah, I really don't want to discuss that right now because I don't really know, like you know, who like who you are really like that. It's just you know, you just call my yeah i feel that um i'm matthew by the way just i wanted okay, to tell you my first name nice to meet you so that's the number of your realtor yeah jesse he just represents he does all my properties and stuff so you have, gotta be to shane you have multiple properties yep are there other ones you'd be open to selling no just that one. Oh, all right are they personal properties or investment properties Personal. Hmm. All right. Do you flip properties? No, no, no. I just, it just, I just have, I just, I mean, I have a lot of properties, so it's just like, I, you know, if you if you come with the right number and you want to buy, it, then I, you know, I sell it. But if it's not, just I don't mind keeping it either. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. I don't know. <laughs> That could be a lead. Um, see what that other property looks like too that dude's got money bro what goodness how do you just buy a house that big and let it sit there that's kind of insane
Your call has been forwarded to an odd... you are trying to reach is Service your attempt. Your call has been for been forward. reach mailbox zero period please Take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number...
Hey, is this the owner of two t What can I do for you? Uh, I was just wondering if you'd be interested in selling that property. No, thank no. you very much. Take care. Have a good day. Hey, is this message and I'll call you back. Hey, is this the owner of fifth? Mm -hmm. Uh, would you be open to selling that property? No. No. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. No. I like this way better. It's more direct. How did I get your number? Yeah, how, how do people get my fucking number, man? Oh, um, there's companies out there. Like, you can just give them an address of a property you're interested in, and they'll send you back any phone number. I got a fucking thousand people calling me for the same shit, man. It's <laughs> yeah. fucking annoying, man. Like, a thousand fucking people, man. Huh. I don't know really how to stop it, but... The companies just give phone numbers that are associated with the property. Okay. How do you how do you get the how do you get the property? How how does the property get associated? Uh, you, how, I don't know. How, you just you just got a list. Yeah. Oh, and you call the list. Yes, sir. But how did my property get there? Cause you know what it is, we went through a modification. I started getting calls and I started telling everybody, yeah, I'm selling my house. I ain't selling my house, but I told them that. Yeah. We were doing a modification, and was it because of the modification showed that I guess we were going on foreclosure. So that's how everybody got got my number, but we're done with the modification. So how, how do people still call you, man? May, it might be that it's it might not be updated in like the court system. Thank you, brother. I'm sorry for cursing, man. Nah, you're this good. It's annoying, man. I, hey, I get you. Don't worry. Ah, right, brother. Thank you. Have a good day. Kill him with kindness, dog. What are you talking about? Shoot. That's some good content.
You've reached the voice mailbox of David. Who? Hello? Hello, this is Dave. You just called? Yes, uh, are you the owner of 14? Oh god, somehow I got stuck with that. No, I am not. I'm a realtor, so... Uh, you look at, that thing's been in foreclosure or something. Yeah. Yeah, somehow my cell phone got attached to that. Oh. Definitely not me. Did you list it or something? Never, ever, ever. Mm. No. I had no connection to that person. Huh. Don't even know how to get a hold of them. Yeah. Um, hey, sorry to hear Good that. Luck. That's all right. Good luck. You too. Pretty funny. Subscriber, you have. Hello. Hey, is this the owner of two? No? Alright. Okay. Have a good day. No. Jack customer you have called is unavailable to take your call. <clears throat> Please leave your message for 
screen? Hello? Hello? Is this the owner of I Hello? Verizon Wireless. Hi, thank you for calling Duffy's Village. This is Lexi. How can I help you? Uh, who is this? Lexi. Is this a company? This is Duffy's Village. Oh, wrong person, sorry. It's okay, don't worry. I'm not gonna worry. Hey, is this the owner of It is. Would you be open to selling that property? Um, not at this moment. Uh, alright. What about in like a month or three months or sometime in the future? Um, I don't think so. No. Alright. Have a good day. You too. I don't think so Bro. oh Thank you for calling Cat's Computer Service. If you know your party's extension, I don't need a computer.
Hello? de T-Mobile que Hey, is this the owner of Six? What was it? What was the name? I mean, what was it? Six. Uh, no, this is another address. Oh, uh, is it? This isn't Michael. No, sir. This is a uh, a, a a city phone. Oh, all right. Yeah, you must have the wrong number. Sorry. Have a good day. Yep. yep no problem. That's the same number. <clears throat> Thank you for calling Pirates Cove Resort and Marina. If you know your party's extension, Pirates Cove the extension number. Leave your message for Yo. Hey, what's up? So I'm just sitting here cold calling people all right so i just called my partner and 
had a little meeting session on the phone. The subscriber you have dialed Hello? Is that I yet? Hey, is this the owner of three? I'm sorry, I don't speak English. Need to translate it. I don't understand. Ah, uh, no English. Uh, is this Travis? Yeah, no. No? This is my number. No, Chris. I don't know Chris. No, this. Oh, alright. Sorry, wrong person. Hello? Hello? Is this the owner of... Yes? Hi, uh, this is Matthew. I was just wondering if you'd be interested in selling that no, property? Uh -uh. No, uh -uh. All right. uh -uh. Thank ha you. Have a good day.
Hello? Hey, is this the owner of four? Yes. Uh, hi, this is Matthew. I was just wondering if you'd be interested in selling that property. No, we're actually not going to sell it. No? We just, uh, we just uh, refinance. We're not selling it. Oh, uh, all right. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Bye. What a nice lady. God, why can't everyone else be nice? The subscriber you have died. Please leave your message. <clears throat> Hello? Yes? Hey, is this the owner of... Yeah, it is. Uh, hi, this is Matthew. I was just wondering if you'd be interested in selling that property. No, I don't. No? Alright, uh, have a good day. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hey, is this the owner of five? Yes, it is. Hi, this is Matthew. Um, I was just wondering if you'd be interested in selling that property. No, we're not. But thank you. No, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Leave your message. <clears throat> <coughs> Hello? 
Hello, is this the owner of... Say that again? No. No? It is not. This isn't John? Nope. Oh, alright. Have a good day. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Hello. Hello? Is this yeah. the owner of 15? No. Nope. No? Alright. Nope. Have a good day. She sounded a little mad. Hey, is this the owner of 13? No? Uh, all right. No, who is this? This is Matthew. Oh, no. No? All right. Have, a, have a good day. I did. Bro, I literally typed in the wrong number.
pretty funny. Three, six, five, zero, five. Is that the right number? Yeah, called the wrong person. Woo! <sighs> Leave your message. Hello? Please leave your message. Hey, is this the owner of four? No. No? Alright. Sorry you missed me. This is Darlene. Give me a call back whenever you get to. Hey Darlene, this is Matthew. I'm calling about a property I believe you own on. Just wondering if you'd be interested in selling. Please let me know. Have a good day.
Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Last number. Let's get it Your call has been. Alright, uh, that's day three. I got one very solid, very hot, steaming hot, overcooked on the stove lead, and one potentially second lead, maybe, I don't know. He referred us to his realtor. So that's a questionable lead, but definitely that first one. Whew. All off market properties. All right, uh, stay tuned for part four where we're gonna get a deal because I know it, I feel it. And I'm not stopping till I get a deal. So thanks for watching.